Well, on that note, the Georgia Department of Revenue announced last week that Georgians can now claim an unborn child as a dependent on their state taxes. Would you overturn that if you become governor? Absolutely. Because, and that's part of my point about a woman being under investigation. Granting personhood to an embryo or a fetus means that a woman could likely be charged with murder if something happens. We don't know what this means, and we don't know how far it can be taken, but we do know this governor has said that he wants to pursue a total ban, eliminating exceptions for rape and incest. That this legislature, without a governor to veto excesses that go even beyond this dangerous ban, will put women in jeopardy. Georgia has 82 counties without an OBGYN. We have 18 counties without a family doctor, nine counties without any physician at all, and we are telling women that they have to undergo a traumatic experience without having access to medical care, medical services, or the leadership of a governor who believes in their human rights. You are a Christian. Uh, you are the daughter of two retired United Methodist pastors. Some uh, Democrats, Joe Biden is a good example, have had a complicated sort of relationship or conflict between their faith and the abortion policy. Some Christians, as you know, they believe that life begins at conception. I'm just wondering how you think about your faith with regard to this policy. I've thought about my faith a great deal. In fact, I was anti-abortion until I went to college. And there I met a friend who has my shared faith values, but we started having conversations about what reproductive care and abortion care really is. And when I talk about that, it was an experience that I had because she was able to give me a different perspective. And over the course of the next few years, I really started thinking about what role should the legislature play? What role should government play? This is health care. This is about a woman's right to control her body. This is about a woman's right to experience and determine her future. And that, for me, as, my, as a matter of faith, means that I don't impose those value systems on others, but more importantly, I protect her rights. I protect her humanity. And that should be my responsibility.